Welcome back to Country Homestead. Today we're going to be uh, putting together this Harbor Freight Century Machinery Fart Washer. It's a 20 gallon fart washer. Moved up in the world for about 20 years. I've used a number two wash tub that I built up there on top. It's got a little 12 volt uh, fuel pump on the side of it. And that's what I used to always use for my fart washer. So we're going to be putting this one together and we're going to see how it works and we'll let you know. We got no good Harbor Freight Pittsburgh tools over there. We're gonna be putting it together with. Uh, what we're working on is my daughter's motor right here. It's a uh, she has a, a 2002 Ford Ranger, and she drove it all but about 67 miles and lost the motor. So, you know, homesteading. Uh, what that means to me is we take care of everything. You know, it don't matter what it is, we're gonna do it. So if it's building stuff or fixing stuff or rebuilding the motor, we got it. And I was fortunate to grow up. My dad didn't pay for nothing, but nobody. He took care of it all, all but plumbing. And my mom was the one that did the plumbing. Dad could not plumb for nothing. And uh, so we're gonna put it all together and we're gonna see how it goes. And uh, we'll give you an honest review on it. Now something to take note is I just hand tighten all the bolts and nuts and washers, you know. Uh, I don't tighten nothing up until I get the the part washer set down on the floor, get it level, 
and then I tighten it up. If you tighten it up right there on the table, you'd probably tighten it up and it wouldn't be level and uh, it'd be wobbly. So I got it there on the floor and this is where I start to tighten it. Now something I have seen already, the boats that they use with that standard screwdriver as I was tightening it up would try to round. They're real soft metal. They're not nothing to nothing to scream about they uh they're not that good but you know boats are easy to replace uh we will start using this part washer probably tomorrow since i did the videos today and tomorrow we're going to start tearing my daughter's motor apart and of course she'll be there with me so uh she's going to get a lot of use out of that part washer you know washing it all getting it all ready to do our machine machining and uh We'll take care of the motor ourselves. We'll we'll completely rebuild it and and uh you know that way we know at the end we'll know what we got in the motor. You know if we do it ourselves, we know at the end that uh we ain't got to worry about somebody else doing it. You know I got a friend that has a shop that uh if I need any machine work or anything like that, usually I get him to help me with the machining because I'm I'm not no machinist. I can tell you that right now. I, I know how to build a motor, but I ain't no machinist. And, he he's real good at it. So uh we'll we'll give you an honest review once we get this thing working and, and uh we'll tell you how good she works. And uh if you like this video we'd appreciate it if you would uh, like it and if you're not subscribed, we'd appreciate you to subscribe. Y'all have a good day.